All right then, so currently in our application, we render the blog list once we have blogs data. And until then, we don't render it. Now, it would be nice to create a loading message whilst the data is being fetched so that a user knows something is loading if it takes time to do. Now, our fetch is very quick because we're just making a fetch to our own computer. But most times, the fetch will be to another server over the internet and slower, in which case the user will see that loading message while we fetch the data. So, to do this, what I'm going to do is create an additional piece of state inside the home components and that is going to be called is pending, or you could call it is loading. It's up to you. And then we need a function to change it. So set is pending, and I'm going to set it equal to use state. And to begin with, I'm going to set it equal to true, right? Now then, what I'm going to do is another conditional template down here. So we saw how to do a conditional template in the last video. We use a logical and right here. And then only if the thing on the left is true, will the thing on the right be output to the browser. So what we could do here is another conditional template to say, OK, well, only when is pending is true. I want you to show a loading message. So let's do that. I'm going to evaluate is pending like so logical and and then output a div if this is true which says loading dot 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 so now only when this is true will a user see this in the browser now to begin with it is true so they will see it so let's preview that and we can see loading now obviously we only want to show loading while the fetch is going on and not once we have the data so once we have the data over here then we can set this to be false so let's do that. I'm going to say right here, set is pending. And that is going to be to false. So now if I save this and refresh, it's going to be very, very quick. So keep your eyes peeled. If I refresh, loading is there for a split second. And then we see all blogs, but they don't show at the same time. Because as soon as we have blogs and we set blogs, then we set is pending to false and therefore this no longer shows. Now, because that's really quick and I want to preview that for a bit longer, I'm going to surround this fetch right here in a set timeout just to simulate a real request that might be to some other server on the Internet. So let me do a set timeout like so. And then this fires a function after a certain amount of time. Now I'm going to paste in the fetch right here and as a second argument to set timeout, I'm going to pass in 1000 milliseconds. So now this function is going to fire after one second and then we perform the fetch. So that just makes the fetch a little bit more realistic in terms of the amount of time it takes to get the data. Now, obviously, for a real world application, don't do this because you're just forcing your user to wait an additional one second when they don't need to. This is just to kind of simulate that idea of the request taking a little bit more time. So it makes it a bit more realistic. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to refresh and we should see that loading message for a little bit longer now, which is what we do. OK, so that's how we can conditionally output a loading message. Next up, we're going to look at errors.